cars driven in most African cities were manufactured in Japan, Korea or Europe. However, 36-year-old Tatenda Mungofa says he is determined to change that. And that change-driven mindset began when he was a child. My dad was a mechanic and I grew up with a passion for cars because I saw him working on a lot of other cars. And for me, I had a question, a burning question within me that was saying, what would it take to actually create the car? Mungofa, who hails from Zimbabwe, launched one of Southern Africa's first motor vehicles called Moreza Auto Company with two other co-founders from South Africa. The name translates to flag in the Shona language. Mungofa designs these cars by first drawing sketches and then working to transform them into actual prototypes. But the process, he says, isn't simple. The journey to get to this point has not been easy. The process alone to manufacture cars is actually quite daunting. In Africa, it's not head of that you want to start a manufacturing operation from start, let alone in the automotive industry. According to the Zimbabwe National Statistics Agency, like most African countries, Zimbabwe relies on second-hand cars from Japan and Europe. In a bid to promote the local motor industry, the Zimbabwe government placed a ban on second-hand cars and vehicles older than 10 years. Zimbabwe's Minister of Industry and Commerce says whilst other industries show growth in exports, vehicle imports still rank high on the list of imports in the country. We have struggled to address the, um, the trade balance. While our exports are growing, our imports are also growing at a faster rate than our exports. We have imported over the last five years more than three billion US dollars worth of motor vehicles, uh, including buses. Uh, in fact, we still have as policy that you are importing a fully assembled bus duty free, but when you are bringing in uh, parts to assembly, you pay 10% duty. Given the huge import demands, Mongofa says his company can meet that demand locally. And the way to do that is by bringing in resources from the region. In South Africa, we are located in Pilanisburg. We have 300 hectares of land there where we are setting up our 25,000 square meter manufacturing facility. Uh, in Zimbabwe, we are sitting on 100 hectares that we intend to also build another factory. But our plan is to go throughout the whole continent, setting up assembly, assembly plants and distribution points so that we better service the African market. Given that most car manufacturing plants in the country have either folded or migrated to a more favorable market, Mungofa hopes to fill that gap. Keith Baptist for Voice of America in Harare, Zimbabwe.